Hey guys, today I'm in Mernda doing a handover inspection for a number of townhouses. I'm not quite sure if the homes are ready to be occupied. Let's go and check it out. Unfortunately, Australia has been suffering from the shortage of building materials. However, some builders have been really creative and have been incorporating the use of giant boomerangs to create the ultimate door setup for security and elegance. Let's go to higher grounds. HB 39 2015 states that box cutters are to be sealed to the rain heads and sumps, eliminating the overflow of water back into the home. No spreader is to discharge roof water onto or over ridge tiles mortar jointed tiles or flashings pre-painted steel flashings and cappings are to be fastened at intervals not exceeding 40 mil and silicon scaled with neutral cure silicon sealants unfortunately this was common throughout all properties Parapet cappings are to be fixed to parapet walls at intervals not exceeding 500mm. Roof overhang coverings discharging into the box cutters must have the trays turned down to 20mm at a 45 degree angle. Unfortunately some of these coverings did not incorporate a turn down. A new category in the Australian standards needs to be created to include this type of workmanship since it is a new breed of defective works that the human race has never seen before. Concealed fastened roof coverings require a minimum pitch of 1 degree. Here we have a negative fall towards the home. This is unbelievable. This brick wall facade had an ice bow of around 20 mil. The cladding installation works were of a poor standard, misplaced fixings, joins, or even junctions were left behind, allowing water to simply flow in from multiple locations, and the homeowners have not even moved in yet. Alright, let's check out the waterproofing for this project. This beautiful bathroom consists of a beautiful vanity, a toilet and an enclosed shower. Let's take a deeper look at the waterproofing and see if the water stop has been installed correctly. Hmm. The aluminium angle is not even installed. I doubt there's even waterproofing installed to this bathroom. Let's go into the roof cavity and see what's going on. My eyes were playing tricks on me. No, it is true. The heating unit has just been left in the roof cavity and it's not even connected. The number of defects for these homes were overwhelming. That doors were not even opening or even latching. Floors have already started to squeak. The window and door hardware were missing or even damaged. 
some floors were out by 41 mil. I was truly saddened by the workmanship that was undertaken. The toilets appeared to be used for a number of years. Let's go dark and confirm. I wish I didn't do that. Hey guys, thanks for the support and sticking to watch this video to the end. Till next time my friends, like and follow for more.